Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today, I finally got a hold of a core class Soundwave figure from the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy line of figures. The core class Soundwave figure is an homage to the original G1 Soundwave. It even comes with a very small transforming cassette of laser beak. So let's go ahead and rip into this. Uh, there is some of these little plastic wires, so I'm going to go ahead and open it off screen. But let's get him out of his plastic and cardboard uh, prison here. He is only eight steps to transform, so I think I'm going to try and transform him uh, on camera since he's only eight steps. So wish me luck on that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut, get him all uh, out of his box because I have a feeling that's going to take longer than transforming him. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. And here's a little tiny sound wave. Oh, he's so little. <laughs> so tiny. But he looks so cool. He does come with a couple of little accessories. We have his uh, classic rifle gun laser whatever here and then he has this little bad boy that pegs in right up here maybe it's supposed to peg in right there we go it's a little snug so i'm gonna have to be really careful with that uh, he doesn't have any other ports for weapons um his joints are a little bit loose the shoulders are good the elbows are a little loose. The hips are a little loose. The knees are pretty good. These are a little looser than I would like. But otherwise, he looks amazing. I do love it. <laughs> so I'm not complaining at all. He still looks so cool. And then he's got his little tiny laser beak in here. Boom. And... Whoops. <clears throat> It does not transform. Never mind. I thought it transformed. That's okay. He does have a little tape that comes out, which is really cool. And you can put it back in there. So <laughs> it doesn't need to transform, but it is uh, really neat. So, boom. Okay. So his transformation... Oh, wait. Um, before I do his transformation, uh, let's see. He's got... Full rotation on the shoulders. His head can turn around all the way. He's got ball joints for elbows. His fists do not turn, but they do fold down into his arm for transformation. Shoulders have ball joints. Uh, the whole thing's probably ball jointed. That's ball jointed. He does have a... Um, Oh, what is that? Thigh swivel. Um, he can only kick about that far. Does this flip up? It does flip up, so he can kick further if you want his cod piece to flip up. The back does not flip up, so that's as far as he can kick back. Um, he does have a ball joint for his legs or his feet, but they can't really do anything except turn. They can't, there's not much ankle tilt to it, even though it is a ball joint. So there we go. Um, and now I've got um, his, I've got the Voyager class Netflix sound wave here that I want to uh, put him up against. You can see the, the size difference between him and Voyager class sound wave. You see, he only stands up to about the bottom of the cod piece and that's what we'll call it. <laughs> okay zoom back in i'm going to grab my uh core class optimus so you can see as well uh core class optimus is right here on my shelf boom he's a little shorter than core class optimus but he's still really cool i am very happy with this sound wave i might still have to get megatron and star scream and uh the little dinosaurs just to have more core class figures because they do look awesome. Let's see, this is Soundwave next to Deluxe Class Bumper or World's Clyde Bumblebee. Big difference there. 
Oh, and I would go get my masterpiece sound wave, but I, I don't think that's necessary. It'd only go up to his knee, I think. <laughs> if that. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and transform him because I'm pretty sure this transformation is going to be pretty easy. Take this off. Boom. Okay, first we're going to fold his hands back like that. Then his arms just come back here. And he does have these little pegs right there that go into these little slots on the arms. Boom. Okay, boom. His head turns 180 degrees to face backwards and then folds down there. There's a little clip on the back for you to pry it back out as long as you have a little bit of a fingernail. Otherwise, you might be a little lost. <laughs> The legs, I believe, go like this. Yes. Okay, and then there's a larger peg here on his side that pegs in there like that. Um, and then the legs, the feet, go down like that using the ball joint. Ooh, he's got a cool little volume control there on the side on that leg. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's... Whoops, I did it wrong. There we go. Okay. Boom. Boom. And there he goes. There is weapon storage for his shoulder doodad. Right there. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the uh, plastic's already getting eaten up a little on that for uh, that being too tight. So, there, I kind of dislodged his arm, and then the other one goes in here. The other one, the plastic seems to be the right size, so it should slide in a little easier. Yep, that one slid in really easy. And there we have his little boom box. Um, I would show it next to Voyager class Soundwave in his boombox mode, but I don't feel like changing it. But here he is sitting next to uh, Soundwave now. <laughs> he actually looks more like a boombox than a micro cassette player when it's when he's looking when you're looking at him next to these larger figures, but <laughs> uh, his original alt mode is a micro cassette player. So and then you can still pop out the uh, the laser beak cassette. And I really thought I saw pictures of it transformed. But it would have been such a tiny transformer if it did. So, I don't know. Anyway, there he is. He's really adorable. I love it. <laughs> of course, I love Soundwave. He's my favorite Decepticon. And, uh, yeah. That's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think of my video. I really like making these videos. I was so happy to finally see this guy. Um... Because I've been waiting to find him, and I was I was willing to pay more for him, but I actually found him on the shelf, finally, after waiting quite a long time. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like my video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Feel free to comment. Uh, if you really like my video and you're not already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it helps my video, uh, gr it helps my channel grow, and it's completely free for you to do. And uh, yeah, that having been said, until next time, as usual... Be kind, that's my thumb, <laughs> be kind, happy hunting, <laughs> and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and if you go out, please wear a mask if you feel it's necessary. I know a lot of people aren't anymore, and I am fully vaxxed and uh, am getting my booster soon, so I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable without a mask, but, you know... If you're not if you're not comfortable, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Just my own suggestion. <laughs> See everybody later. Bye.